it's just going yeah. it's going live first oh, and foremost at a live stream on that's that's what i'm cooking one starts with a little bit of rosé wine no this way I've got ellie behind the camera hi ellie hi. We've got my very special guest miss emma smith in the house Hello, first of all oh my gosh is that is that enough is that enough, is that enough wine? wine? I think that's a good start. We're having. We're starting with a lovely Luga, Luga Rioja of Rosé. Is anyone watching it? Yeah. <laughs> we have three, what, three viewers so far. Oh, hello, three viewers. <laughs> lovely to see you, Natalie. I insist on, a, on an entrance theme tune authorised by you on the spot. Welcome, and that's why I'm cooking, oh darling. Welcome, and that's what I'm cooking, oh darling. Welcome, and that's what I'm cooking, oh darling. Do we do? Do, do, do. Hey, that's what I'm cooking. That's what I'm cooking. Right. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations for your first Nats One Iron. Thank you very much. Congratulations for being my first guest. I'm very honoured. We to have a very special uh, husband in not the, this room. Robin, your wine is here. I will put it on the side. Sorry, everyone. Welcome. That's going to be my head. For the <laughs> <laughs> Thank and you. Since, I'm harmonising it now. And since we're cooking, I'm going to wear my <laughs> wine makes mummy clever apron. There it is, babe. There it is. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. You'll get to meet Rob in a minute. Did you like the theme tune we just came up with, Rob? <laughs> we did actually have a theme tune and we never did it. Anyway, I'm going to put this back in my fridge. You get to see what my house, what my kitchen so looks like in great detail. Don't look at the messy fridge. This is mainly my condiment section. I am uh, obsessed. Uh, apart from the entirety of the, of the obsessed water. Obsessed with condiments, door. obsessed with condiments. Here's a little bit of uh, the old carriage stuff. Yes, yeah, delicious. Do you have a truffle um, condiment at all? No, I don't. Um, I have truffle oil. Mm, interesting. Now, oh, can I tell you something? Yeah. So we live in an area called Bounds Green or Bowes Park or what I like to call East Muswell Hill. <laughs> <laughs> And there's a the farmer's market. Yeah, <laughs> we should tell where we live. Well, we're at number <laughs> Join us. Forget it. Um, there's a farmer's market on this little road near, very near where we are. And I went there the other day. You'll love this. And they've got a thing called the Truffle Guys now. <gasps> I you seen them? Tag them in it. Okay, so I've got it on our like. It's it's really cute, and it's totally trying to be Ali Pali Farmers Market. It's not, but it might be one day. Appreciate the the presence of the truffle guys. Though. Yeah, and they were like, right, I've got my new truffle oil. And I was like, yeah, wicked. You know, all very exciting. They're like, do you like truffle? And I was like, uh, yeah. It's so, a love hate thing, though. It's Marmite, isn't it? Well, no. There's like one person that hates it, which is Annabelle. True. If you're watching, <laughs> still judge you for that. Still can't understand you. Um, it's um this dark chocolate spread. So it's like dark chocolate Nutella. But with truffle. Oh, I don't know. Should have bought it. Well, uh, they were like, it's like Marmite. That's like Marmite. Right. Truffles like come on but this is like quite intense and I was like I'm just gonna get it anyway just so I can have and to hold and understand the information sure. that presents to my mouth and then when I ate the information I thought that is rancid is it yeah. Yeah. so I think I'm gonna just give it to Rob Malarkey because he likes these sorts of I'm not sure things. he does he doesn't like rancid stuff just as much as the next person <laughs> <laughs> but maybe it's just rancid to me because I've got a baby mouth I don't know <laughs> Now, first of all, first and foremost, I'm going to just talk you. Oh yeah, what are we doing? Right? And what, who are we? Where are we? So here we are in my kitchen. There's your wine, my love. King your. We are making today. This is a bit of a like off the top of my head recipe, um, which is a thing that my mum used to make on a regular basis. She's amazing at cream spinach, which everyone loves. There's always a side dish that everyone loves in the mm. restaurant. Like, let's get the cream skin at spinach, and it's never garlicky enough. Never. And it's never like cheesy and gooey enough. So I'm going to teach y'all. I'm going to show you my version. You can either take it or leave it or whatever. But also, we're going to make chicken schnitzel. Can I sit up here like I normally do? I, I was thinking that's probably where you're going to belong. Does yeah. this word belong? We're not live on television. <laughs> yeah, get on. Get up there. Now, first and foremost, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the. Uh, we're going to start making a roux. So we're going to start. Here's my spinach. RuPaul, which I actually used frozen spinach because um, it's easier, you get loads more for your buck, and you don't have to put it in the ages and chopping and washing and da-da-da. Now, this is my, does that, can you see? Can you see? Yes, yes, so I haven't started yet. Are we not doing Greek then? We're not doing Greek potatoes. Talk me through why. It takes too long, so I'm going to put the potatoes in water, but I'm not going to turn, I am going to turn them on. I'm going to turn them on as well and let them slowly do their thing. <laughs> this is my sous chefing. <laughs> 
done one of these before, but it's ha I'm having a great time. I'm having such fun. Ever so slightly drunk is probably a good thing. Are you already drunk? No. Um, I've had we will do. Do you like how? First of all, I need to show you my nerdiness, but you're in the way of my nerdiness. I just you can just move slightly over there. So I like things with labels on it, and this is one of my lockdown specials, ladies and gentlemen. Made all my delicious um, little signage for all my things. How nerdy am I? Very nerdy. Very nerdy. Marie Kondo. Marie Kondo. Yeah, we did all discover Marie it Kondo. Definitely sparks drawing. Marie Kondo. Marie Kondo. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> so right, first of all, to make the rule. Oh yeah, I was gonna put some music on, shall I? Nah, mm, yeah, I could do that bit. Shall we put some music on? Well, well can I put a record on? Can we put on Soul Train? Yes. So Rob and I discovered um, this Hank Mobley record that actually we knew but didn't really know, and then we put it on and we just basically sat in silence and listened to it for about three hours on repeat, so I think we should do that. We should we do might it. make us stop talking as much and get on well, with we'll just have, cooking. We'll just have it in the background. Now I'm going to talk you through how to do the Michelle, how to do the Michelle Roux. Um, here's my other not quite as organised thing with some hilarious... Have you got enough mustard there? You can never have enough mustard. Now, does anyone know how to do a roux? No, I don't actually. All right, so you need to watch me, okay? So yeah. put on the old that situation, okay? Mm -hmm. Not too hot. Then we put some butter. I'm going to say about this much, this much butter. Ta-da! Yes. Let me have a look. That much butter. So sort of hefty knob. Hefty knob. Always a hefty knob because we're making a plentiful. Sufficiency. A plentiful amount to have a plentiful sufficiency at the end of the meal. Now what we do after this, yeah, you get back on your chair, my steed. We wait for this to uh, to melt, wait for the butter to melt. I'm not doing, obviously this is a live thing, so we're not doing the old... Uh, here's one I made earlier. Here's one I made earlier. So Natalie, can I just yeah. ask you a question in case yeah. anyone is as basic bitch as I am when yes. it comes to cooking? What's a roux? Is it just a sauce? It's a sauce, but it's a white sauce, so it's a better. Is milk. roux always a white sauce? Is it Ellie? Rob? Is it Rob? I don't. I think. I think always a white sauce is a roux. A white sauce, as, as to my knowledge, is a roux and a bechamel sauce. So you want to get it nice and. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Is mayonnaise a roux? No, mayonnaise is mayonnaise. I do understand that, but it is a white sauce. <laughs> it's a white sauce, but no, a roux is like so. It's heated. And then you make you put a bit of uh, flour in, like so. Mm -hmm. I don't want to like advertise, but nobody knows where this is from, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's from my hilarious corner shop <laughs> in Down Green, where most things don't actually have labels in English. So sometimes we buy some random Brazilian stuff. Oh, it smells so sexy already. No idea what oh. it could be. So, mm. so you want to get it into that kind of consistency, okay? Actually, could you, could you or Rob, Rob, could you put the oven on for me for 200, 200 degrees Celsius, please, on Great a pan? Sushi. I'm going to put a bit more, a tiny bit more. Oh, can we put the record on? Try. Oh, in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, uh, do the big one, because I always burn myself. I burnt myself the other day. Look. Oh. It was worth it though because the brownies were delicious. I made the first, my first ever brownies and they have to, I have to say, thanks to Erin Sokol, that they were amazing. Now you add a bit of milk. Are you watching enough? I'm watching so much. Always intensely. a little bit of milk. Then you like a lot. Well, there's no, and then you keep adding little bits because it's going to thicken very quickly. Oh, see? I see. You're already it's lumpy. Already lumpy. And then you add a bit more. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Mm -hmm. The pressure's high, guys. Do we want it to be um, like a thin runny? We or wanted to no, not syrupy running. No, you wanted to be relatively chunky, not chunky. You know what I mean, like kind of thick, thick. There's a bit over there that really needs some action. Yeah, yeah. 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 Behind the bit, you're in a blind spot. <laughs> <laughs> now you can add a bit more milk for me. It's quite just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, more. yeah. That's, that's gonna yeah. do just fine. And more, more. Oh, ow! I just banged my head. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we put loads of makeup on this, and we don't normally look so fabulous. I don't even know if we do look fabulous. We look fabulous. <laughs> oh, that's great, Rob. Yes, all right, more please, more please. Now, very sweaty in this situation. I haven't got the extractor fan on because I don't want it to get in the way. Now, here's a, here's the roux, it's coming along nicely. RuPaul has entered the RuPaul. building. RuPaul, RuPaul. We've got some feedback here. Oh, yeah. Roux is a base for sauce. Ah! Oh. Is it white, though? And we've got some more feedback. Yes, it is. Ah, right. I love how we get 
some feedback. I'd love to know who's watching. Well, yeah, keep talking. Keep to talking, us. Ellie, and tell us who's watching. You right. get terribly bored of each other. <laughs> <laughs> Not. So that was Peter G with the blue info and oh, okay. Amy Sue with the white. Oh, Amy Sue. Hey, Amy. Hi. Amy was not going to cook today. She's a bit knackered from work, but she did tell me that she's going to not come in and watch. We are potentially going to do a bit of singing. We are going to. I've already advertised that that's why I'm here. That's obviously. I can't offer anything else to the table, can I? <laughs> but you're a very good sous chef. Now, what I'm going to tell you to do yes. is not more than that. I need some nutmeg. Look at how the nerdy nutmeg. Oh my god, how cute! With it's the a tiniest, baby. tiniest of all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking so, I would I like some nutmeg grated in there? Nutmeg goes very well with spinach. I'm going to try um, our call and response thing and see if it works. Yeah. Roger. Rabbit. Roger. Rabbit. Roger, Roger, Roger. Rabbit. Roger, Roger, Roger. Rabbit. On the big one. This, yeah, that big one. We are just really giant people. This is a normal size thing. Ian Shaw hopes that the pan is Le Creuset. Oh, uh, you know what? It's not this one. He is watching. Yeah, he says metal on metal, darlings. Dot dot dot. I think Ian. that's a bit of a tuck tuck. Oh. Is, is that Ian Shaw? Ian Shaw. Yeah. Oh, hello. Sure, I'm sure. I'm Ian Shaw. Um, more. Show us more. your herbs. Oh, okay, okay. But don't burn me. Don't burn me. I won't burn you. It's not a crozet, actually, Ian, and I wish I had more. There's an amazing look at this metal on metal. Is that matter? Metal on metal? You know what? I started looking on Facebook Marketplace for La Crusade the other day. Because yeah, there's a shop in Moswell Hill, yeah, which is too spenny, babe. Too spenny, babe. But if you get on Gumtree or the other one, oh, it's hard, hard, a bit harder. Yeah, right, your right. Come on. Elbow grease. Come oh, on. it's licking. I don't want to burn myself. <laughs> it smells delicious, isn't it? Giving me very much an autumnal experience in the nose hole. Hilariously, when it's not Are you just actually... filming my tits right now? <laughs> it's not bit. even a... Oops. It's <laughs> not... It could be a hotter, a hotter day. I think that's a bit more. Yeah. Done. See, I just have this as a powder form. This is where mm. I'm basic compared to Natalie. And stop. And see. I don't even know if you can get already great. If you probably can, you can get anything. Can. It's going to dry my face It's a definitely bit. not as punned as that. Ooh. Oh, should I show them what a nutmeg looks like, just in case? Oh, need some wine, and then you remember there's wine. Remember All right, so here we go. We've got this. Now, what I like to add always to my roux, to my bechamel, is um, some Dijon mustard. I think you can never have enough mustard with anything. I love mustard. I love, as you already saw earlier, all condiments. I'm going to add a, a blob like that, maybe a little bit more. Um, can I just ask you, is this Dijon or? That's Dijon. Always a just go for the nice Dijon-y kind of vibe. Oh, yeah, 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 lovely. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my God, it smells good. Now, now what I'm going to do, because I like it quite garlicky. Pretend I'm doing something else. Yeah, so actually do something correct. Do that, not too vigorously, so I can okay. add my garlic. Genteel, a bit lower. Is it raw? Yes, it's raw. It's Zidu. raw, darling. It's raw. Zidu. Fascinating. Yeah. Once we have this done, then I can chill for a minute. I'll put it in the oven and then we kind of go on to music. Can I just ask you a question, please, yeah. William? Um, what is this for? This is for. <laughs> yeah, good question. For the spinach? It's for the spinach. The spinach. The spinach. Roger. Rub it. Now, put it back. <laughs> Take that out for me. Can I lick it yet? It's not really something you'd want to lick. No? Okay. No. Now this is the thingy that I, oop, I'm just gonna give it another little squeeze actually. Come over here. Just making sure so that- That's all from frozen, is That's it? all from frozen. Well, the one that comes with little balls. Exactly that. Yeah. Little balls, little balls of delight. And it's cheap. It's cheap as chips. It's yeah, cheap. It's cheap. It's cheaper like, than chips. Because fresh, exactly. I mean, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna like, don't look at the floor after I do this, but I'm just gonna, Bring it over like like so in little bits, and you can do that. Why as don't well. I just do this? Oh, that's... <laughs> I am Susan. That's a very good idea. No one does that. Action. <laughs> okay, Ellie's really trying. <laughs> I'm trying to show you. Ellie's laughing. Oh, can that's... we see you? <laughs> show us how long you're laughing. There's a spinach. Don't be any fun. Feet, puppy. Hands. Freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be a hotter day to try. Oh God! Now what do you, you want to do? I want, no, no, I'm not finished yet. I just want you to mix it in. Lord. Mix, mix do I want to use my ding dong? No, 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 no. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we use the ding dong to 
stir the freezing cold spinach. Meanwhile, my watch is telling me that I've done 10,000 steps, and that is blatantly not true. I mean, of course it is. We went for an epic run today. Yeah. Um, can I ask you a question, William? Yeah. Um, what happens if it's too cold in the spinach and it ruins the it, room? Is it, that a thing? It, no, it's not a thing, and it'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she says. If any professional are any professional chefs watching, swatching. <laughs> any professionals? Tom Kerridge, if you're watching, do you know that Tom Kerridge used to be my landlord? Fine. Oh my god. I know it's fabulous. Is there enough juice in this to make it cute? It's yeah, it'll be fine. I'm such a warrior <laughs> when it comes to food. Now I need to have the most delicious experience of life at all times. Now. Do you want me to yeah, come on yeah. So, <laughs> your hands cold. Freezing. Oh, so you've got green juice on the. Shh. Can you fix that while well, nobody's watching? <laughs> yeah. May I be dismissed? You may be dismissed. Now the thing with this spinach is there's actually it wasn't chopped. It was uh, just frozen like leaf spinach. So it's a bit more. It's a, you know usually I use chopped spinach, but I couldn't find it because uh, the shop I was going to go to was closed. But it's not the end of the world. Now I put in a little bit of parmesan. And I say Ooh. a little bit, I always mean a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what have I not added? One of the most important things. Salt! salt. And pepper. Can I have the salt and pepper, yeah. please, I'll bring them over. Susan to the rescue. Here it is. With my lovely molden. Always molden. Always molden sea salt. That is a rule. Is it? Rule of thumb. I've got pink Himalayan. Why is that wrong? You know what? I think pink Himalayan is good, but I don't know if it's right for this. I think pink Himalayan is good for baths, isn't it? There is a place and a time. I'm not sure which one it is, but there is... I just love any kind of salt, to be honest. Right, um, this is when you just check that that's edible. Move it on yourself. Okay. That's definitely edible. So, Ems, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk a minute about um, music and music coming out by you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Music coming out of yours, Patty Cordroy. Mm. Patty Cordroy. Patty Cordroy is my project with Natalie's husband. Can you please tell them why it's called Patty Cordroy? <gasps> Do you want to know? I've never even said this out loud. I know, you have to. So Robin's really clever and I'm really, really lucky to make music with him. Um, and it's also great because um, it means that Natalie can go and do things like nails and hairs and it's not boring <laughs> for us. <laughs> so um, it's sort of our outlet to to write um, wild and fearless, unapologetic, nerdy synth music. I guess with a I guess with a pop sort of um, sensibility. Do I need to get out of the way? Yeah. Okay. Cool. What are you doing? You can't do things without telling us. No, I'm just being. I'm sorry. No, no, no I'm just. Like, <laughs> I'm just adding salt and pepper. I'm still on that ambition, but I think people will kind of know to do that. Always a lot of pepper. Always, always a lot of pepper. Lots of everything, I find. Lots of garlic, lots of cheese, lots of pepper, lots of salt. When and they lots say of spinach, and lots of roux, <laughs> and lots of food. Lots when of they food. say like one clove of spinach, we're like one clove of spinach. Ah, I mean, <laughs> one clove of garlic. We're like, what is who? <laughs> who, who in the world? Who in the world actually puts one clove of garlic? Nobody. I just put it straight in my mouth. <laughs> That is insane. If you use one clove of garlic, I don't judge. I'm a very open person, but I'd like to know why and for what reason. Because it's always like an entire bowl for me. No. But if I feel like I'm getting poorly, do you know what I do now? Yes, I do know what you do. Tell the world. The world needs to know. I put, <laughs> I put two bulbs in. I'm talking bulbs, not cloves. And I roast it. Just roast, you know, pure. And then I pop it in my mouth like candy. And I eat probably about 40 cloves and of garlic. And she smells real good. In about one day. Now. I'm putting this in here. Whoops. <laughs> Slightly, uh, this obviously would not happen in an actual restaurant. Now, there it is in all its glory. I feel like I should have chopped this bit, but I think it'll be fine. So it's garlicky, it's cheesy, it's rui. Do you know that my car is called rui? I'll tell you that another time. Now, what I do what is do add, extra add, obviously, to the top. It's quite a lot of food for two people. It's not only two of us, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not six. It's definitely not six. That's what it's not. 
Do you know, we went to the park the other day, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was a great story, and that's the end of it. <laughs> Thank you. We went to the park, and it was on Sunday, and um, I got no, told... 200, sorry, 200 degrees in, in the oven, 200 degrees Celsius. Gosh, actually, I'm going to put it on a fan. I like a fan oven. Can I ask you a detailed question that yeah. someone that's as special as me when it comes yeah. to cooking would ask? What is what? a fan? No, what I'm... <laughs> I'm a fan. <laughs> someone who loves me. Um, when it comes to the room, yeah. what could I do, because I would definitely do it, that would get it wrong? Is it the slow stir to get the lumps out? You need to, no, you need to stir it quite quickly with a whisk. Uh -huh. um, and always put a bit of milk, but then stir it, stir it, stir it quite quickly, the lumps will go away, and then you add more milk. As soon as it starts bubbling and it's catching, okay. then you're hatching me, like, you know, like burning. So you don't want it to burn, you don't want like, the corners, like, the blind spot, like I yeah. earlier. <laughs> anyway, Roger. now. Here we go. Um, my next question is, are we listening to music on the summer? We are. Yeah, we are. It's um, Hank Mobley, Soul Train, um, Art Blakey. Who's on keys for this? Okay, so, next. BRB with that. Are we ready? This is the next thing we're going to do, and then this is going to be the next, next thing. <laughs> you know what, should we do a little sing song first? No. Should we not? Okay. Or maybe we should, do the people want music? Yeah. Do the people want music? Let's see. So wait a few minutes for them. Jay to... Irving loved Emma's whisking <laughs> with a laugh face, though. Is that Jay from. from. Jay's a singer. Oh! Lovely singer. Hello, from... Jay. Aren't you, Jay? From... Are you from up north? I can't remember where from. I think it was from the Leeds. I thought it was Jay that always asked me out from the personal training centre. Oh, him! <laughs> no. Jay's replied, he says sing. Heidi Vogel says sing. Hey! Hey! Heidi was in the park. Um back to just testing this parmesan, just make sure it's okay for everyone. <laughs> She's basically I'm doing a really good it. job with it. <laughs> it's, um, it's it's definitely edible. Mm. Yeah, She's still edible. <laughs> <laughs> she always fills up before we've eaten our dinners. Terrible behaviour. Now here we are with the chicken, okay? We're gonna make what the rule of this is, I would like you, Emma Smith, yes. Dougal House Woods, to put, to crack two eggs into this. Into this. Into this. Yes. Fascinating. I will try my best. Yeah. You can do that. And meanwhile, while that happens. I do actually want to do a quick shout out before you crack on. Yeah. This, this delicious corn fed heavenly chicken is from the Hampstead Butcher which is not in Hampstead, it's actually in Muswell Hill. Muswell Hill, and it is what I call lit. And they're amazing. And um, please give us free stuff next time. <laughs> this episode will soon be sponsored by the Hampstead Butcher. What's this space? <laughs> Rob, you'd love that. That would be amazing. That would be like your dream I'm sponsor. So Forget like Korg or any like reverb plugins. <laughs> Rob wants the Hampstead, Rob wants meat. Sponsor me with your meat. Ah, now, what I do for the for the old um, chicken doodah is I put them in a bag, like that, like so. What do you do that? Try then? not to touch the thing, because the thing is, when you start bashing it down, you want it really thin. When you start bashing it down, otherwise it'll go everywhere. There'll be meat just everywhere, which, as we all know, is a really bad idea. Ah, oh, no. so, I'm gonna try my best. Now, it's gonna get loud. I close. I close the bag. I take a pin, a nice brush, with all my might. She's scatting, I'm bashing. Scat bash. Scat bash. <laughs> I'm a scat bash. <laughs> Isn't that a poo party or something? Poo party? Yeah, scat bash. <laughs> Change the subject. Vula says she really doesn't want to hear you sing. Ah! <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> I'm going to have to. You are going to want to hear this because you like these songs that you're going to hear. Now, there is my slim chicken. You've done that. All right, now, please can you take out of the drawer, the one that you know is that one, Yeah. Um, a fork. Georgia. I know it all looks a bit raw and ready. I'm going to have some wine. How much do I have to pay you just to eat it like that and just see what happens? Not, not that much. Would you do it for I 50 quid? Of course. What? You'd eat raw chicken for 50 quid? No, no, I would never do such a thing. Can you all put in your comments what 
money you'd have to be paid to eat that just so i can gauge the level of it's the free level of... range it's free range hamster butcher chicken it's not it's gonna be all right isn't it maybe not i don't know anyway do that i've got the whiskey again well just like i would just scramble eggs whiskey 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 yeah, so what happens till it goes nice and even steven Roger. grab it so you've got the whiskey egg <laughs> whisk not whiskey that would be ridiculous <laughs> that would be tasty it would be tasty um and then what we do again because i'm so we want like oh, so oh, maybe after this um we after we've done this so this is the bit that a lot of people leave in a bland kind of way whereas i find add all the garlic and the flavor to the egg mixture okay is it it is you add loads of garlic, you add again loads of mustard, um, you add, you add salt and pepper, um, and then you can add things like rosemary and all that kind of stuff to the breadcrumbs. Here are the, here are the breadcrumbs, very fine breadcrumbs. Are they bought or made? They are made, uh, bought actually, I'm sorry to say. but I'm Rude! I know, I was a bit lazy, but that's, it makes it easy, doesn't it? There's the um, flour, the simple flour. Home milled, I hope. From your own hands. Home milled, it's not home milled, but this is our new coffee machine everyone witnessed. <laughs> I am now a professional barista, aren't I, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, here we go. Are you ready? Right. We add. Adding in the mustard, there it mustard. goes. I'm whisking in the mustard, just, there we go. I'm slightly goes. worried about this. Why? I mean, I know what you're doing. What? You're worried about it. I'm just holding it up. No, I'm great. I'm excellent. I'm a darling, darling, darling. No, I'm what I call malleable for any gig, and this is done. It's a gig. Salt, 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 salt. You want me to whisk in the things you're putting in? Yes. Oh, cute. Okay. Never, ever, ever, ever too much pepper. Rilla says a billion pounds to make her eat the raw chicken. A billion? A billion. But then, but then my question to Rilla is, I've got two and a half million pounds, yeah, yeah, in my hand. Like, I'm about to give you two and a half mil. Imagine the place you'd buy for that. You'd eat it and you'd buy that house. You'd on... be sick for two days. You'd be sick for a few days and you'd buy that house. Now, don't give me a billion. True. It's absolute nonsense. BS. And Brendan says salmonella slash chickenella could be good for quick weight loss. Ah! This is true. No. Give me this. That's a lot. Okay, we're adding this. It might spray. Oh, where's your clothes? I'm wearing it. Yeah, it's true. Ah. Uh, oh, you want me to. No, you, you do. I don't want to get. I do. I do. I deal with this. Do I do? Do I do? Do I do? I wanted to say poo, but then I thought it'd be rude. So I said do instead. Too similar to the original. What <laughs> <laughs> oh, garlic do? <laughs> <laughs> Garlic do. <laughs> I'm gonna, because I'm craving for it like that, and because Ellie helped me prepare some garlic earlier, is the one I prepared earlier. <laughs> this is mad. It's garlicky. <clears throat> Trust me, it's gonna fry off, and you will not even notice. In the words of Jeremy from Peep Show, <laughs> this is outrageous. This is contagious. Lula <laughs> says, but what if I die? I would definitely haunt you. We're not. <laughs> you would anyway. Let's be real. She's not going anywhere. I know that she's still on that. No. She, she's good. How I big is the delay? I, I really need to get to an agreement with her on this. I need a figure. I need to work this out. I mean, I said fifty pounds. I feel really stupid. I reckon yeah, that is that is within an inch of its life, so that's fine. You can put that. Oh, what there. seasoned within an inch? Yeah, I whisked within an inch. But all of the above. Well, that's that. Now, what I would like Emma Smith at Doodlehausen is that's what I'm German for a day. Um, I would like you to do this now for me. I would well, like. I've got a Martin Bashir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Bashir, the chicken. But take that with your hand, and then you wash your hands straight away, and you don't put it in your mouth because otherwise you could die. Really? We'll get paid um, two and a half million pounds. Get a that. brand new house. Um, I'd get one on Bishop's Avenue. Yeah, I'll hold this for you. You do this, and you do the bashing, and then you can because you have to learn how to do this. That's the whole point of this exercise. Oh, I forgot. What do I do? <sighs> well, I drink like this. Does this go in here? That one chicken goes in a little sleeve like that, and then you just. Oh. Well, you've had an invitation from. I, forgive me if I say this wrong, Monica Troutmansdorf. Troutmansdorf? Troutmansdorf? Yeah. Do I have an invitation to her now? 
Yeah. She says, perhaps someday I can offer you my Tuscan sausages in red wine sauce. <gasps> Tony Remy can tell you about the taste. Oh, we know Tony. And my Wiener Schnitzel. I'm Austrian, so I grew up with it. <gasps> but you have to sing in my kitchen here in Tuscany while I'm cooking. <gasps> Sounds all right. Bye! I'm, I'm already on my way. <laughs> <laughs> I went there. I'm already here. We've left. We've left Tuscany. Yeah. Yeah. Austrian. Austrian, yeah. come back with a figure. figure. Right, come at me, girl. She says, Corona season times are hard, 5k. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I said fifty pounds. Yeah. So I mean, it's not that far off from five million. No, 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 it's very good. compared to two point five mil. Like, let's look at it. Or five billion, or whatever. That was just a simple one bill. Oh. Am I still doing this? Yeah, and you need to make it even, Steven. Roger. So you don't want it. Yeah. Martin Bashir is in the building. Martin Bashir is in the building. Martin Bashir is in the building. <laughs> Let's just have a little feel. Well, you don't know what to do yourself, do you? Oh, I'm not being too helpful. No, oh, sorry. Um, that's that's good. That's not good. That's bad. Not bad. You can do a bit more on this side. <laughs> that's good. It's not good. It's bad. It's terrible. It's awful. What have you done? It makes it deep. Oh, God. Drinking with wine makes everything okay. Now, drinking what? with wine. <laughs> Well, Greg Rawlings says you can hardly even tell you've been drinking. <laughs> you've only had one glass, and no. it's really exciting. You know what? I, I'll tell you what it is. It's that I That's had very thin. All I've eaten, that's good, thin is good. All I've eaten today was um, crisps. coffee. Coffee? And what? Crisps. It's terrible. What? Did you not have, no. did you have an omelette? No. What? We didn't have eggs. You did, you had two eggs. That wasn't enough for an omelette. We all well, know then, that. Why did you not eat two eggs? Robin's here. He's like, that's gone, that one. Mm. Good. It is good. Do you not it? like it? I'm glad it's gone. Oh, oh interesting. 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 Now, Robin, would you like to get your um, top up? Yeah, go and shove it anywhere. Would you like Press to get your double bass and we'd sing a little song? Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to turn that off, though. I think I've made a split in this. Oh, no, I haven't. Martin's very much still in power. All right, that's good, that's good, that's good. Are we happy? It's much less thin than yours, also known as thick. <laughs> 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 let me let me feel. And now place your hands. I don't on. know. I feel like they're both tiny. I think mine's with a smaller tit. Smaller no tits. Just do a bit more for good measure. Yeah. I think it's good. I think it's good. Alright. So Emma and I are both singers, as you all know. If you don't know, if you're watching on the uh, YouTube channel for the Soul Family YouTube channel, I run Soul Family. Um Emma has been a special guest at Soul Family. Mm -hmm. Um, we have loads of amazing friends. <laughs> the cool. That hand. <laughs> I've also got some cool clothes. <laughs> and like, I got an A in my GCSE math. <laughs> Top five percent of the country. <laughs> I do. I know. No, I mean, what else is cool about that? talented friends who have come to perform at Soul Family. This is true. This is what you always say about your mathing. And then I test you. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not that good not anymore. That good. But I did get top five percent in the country. Meanwhile, can you just check what Rob's doing? <laughs> check what Rob's doing. This is That's the kind, amazing. This is the kind of skill I've developed on lockdown. <laughs> yeah, talk us through. Talk is it not? <laughs> it's not the skill is under. So this is, um, <laughs> Oh, thank God for that. And what a relief. Okay. Sometimes, <laughs> desperate measures, isn't it? What are you going to do? Well, that is <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? We watched a lot of Sopranos recently. What are you going to do? What, no. what line? Forget line? about it. That's mine. That's yours? Yeah. 100%? 100%. Per. Fascinating. How are we going to get cute and all in shot? Here. Yeah. While we're waiting for the uh, chicken, should we turn off the... Um... No, it's fine. What should we do? Should we do... um? I know what to do. We're gonna. I'm gonna introduce this. Um, Natalie and I are very lucky and 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 um, enjoy very much singing with the Bonnie Scott's All Stars. And Natalie's been doing it for 400 years. I've been doing it for like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, we have been performing a show for the 60th anniversary of Bonnie Scott's Jazz Club. 
which was last year all the way up until October this year, which is actually, wow, that is next month, isn't it? I guess we'll just continue because this year doesn't count. Um, just like I'm not turning 30 this year, I will be next year. Um, Let's not talk about age, this is a horrible thing. Okay, uh, but what was I saying? Yes, so we've been doing this show and we've been learning these pieces and this is a piece that we are going to sing together at the club for the opening night on the 19th. Correct. Natalie's going to be singing with the Ronnie Scott's All Stars on the 19th and the 20th, double shows, I think. So, oh, it's sold out, you can't come, sorry. You can't come, they might live stream it then. If they do live stream it, then do tune in. Um, and we're going to do it on this one. So this is uh, a world premiere. <laughs> Even for us, it's a yeah, world it's premiere. <laughs> Three points. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. One, two, three. There I go, there I go, there I go, there I go. Pretty baby, you are the soul. Such a funny thing, but every time I'm near you, I never can behave. You give me a smile, and then I'm wrapped up in your magic. Music all around me, crazy music. Music that keeps calling me so. Very close to you, turns me your sleep. Come and do with me any little thing you want to. Anything, baby, just let me get next to you. Now, am I insane or do I really see heaven in your eyes? Hey, the bright as stars that shine up above you in the blue, blue skies. How I worry about you, just can't live my life without you, baby. Come near, don't have no fear. Oh, is there? Feeling in the mood for love. So tell me why. Stop to think about this web of my dear. This little dream might fade away. There I go talking out of my head again. Oh, baby, won't you come and put our two hearts together? That will make me strong and brave. Oh, when we are one, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid. So if there's a cloud up above us, go on and let it rain. I'll show my love together, we'll endure a hurricane. Let me love you, put me out of this old movie. What is all this talk about loving? my sweet i am not afraid not anymore not like before Man's heart. can't you understand me now oh, baby please pull yourself to get back up to do it very soon hey my soul's on my come on and take me i'll be what you make me my darling my sweet oh pretty baby Woo! He also plays electric bass brilliantly, very much. Um, but he also writes songs, so he's written songs with you. Mm -hmm. He's written lots of songs with me. Mm -hmm. He's everyone's bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to use this ventricle and um, and uh, stirring device 
to make another roux. <laughs> I'm going to just turn the base over and use this bit here, which is really good for catching the bits that catch to the uh, Bernie <laughs> McSanders. I'm going to put it away. Um, I think that you can... Maybe we can... Ems, are you up for uh, singing another little song? Or should we get on with this bit? What do you... You know what? I think we want to pace ourselves, don't we? We do want to pace ourselves. Pace us. Pace us ourselves. Hannah says all the percents are tuned in. Oh! Yay! Oh, Amy's got an interesting question. Amy Sue. Yeah. You can only sing one song for the rest of your life. What, what do it? you choose? Oh, it's hard. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> we know that, Emma, but what song would you choose? <laughs> Ba -bum -bum. Happy birthday! Yeah, <laughs> that would make it the most money. <laughs> there is a person who wrote that, and there is apparently that person gets the most money of all the monies. More than Mariah Carey. I think Michael More. Jackson owned the rights to Happy Birthday. No. Did he? Yeah. No. Okay. Eddie, is that true? I think so. Someone Google it instantaneously. <laughs> Someone Google it and let us know. We yeah, it could be wrong. She's still eating Parmesan. <laughs> it just seems to be getting rid of now. So no, here's the, here's the deal, guys. What would that be the sum? Oh, what big song? Um, oh God! I mean, what would you? Mm, might be something real simple like "Lady Be Good" or "I Can't Give You Anything But Love" or something that I can just blow on forever I mean, and never get bored with the changes. You know what I mean? Sure. I mean, I quite like if it if it goes in the jazz world situation, mm -hmm. then I not that one. I mean, I love that one, but it's too prescribed like, already. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's got to be like. Right. Open your heart to me. I wonder if Maybe. Amy will uh, let me get away with writing songs on the changes of. Do you know what I mean? I mean, is it really like me, me, me? If I say that I just want to sing one of my songs that like I sing all the time, where I can let the band because we, uh, you know, have been doing Butterfly for many years. Yeah, and it kind of got its own life. Mm. So I can just do whatever, and then I step back, and then the band can do its thing. Is so that okay, do I consent to that? Is it not because do you know what I mean? Because it's it's a like a bit of song. A, it is my song. And that sort of sucks a bit. It, to, it does choose your own. I'm gonna do Bye Bye Blackbird. Oh, oh. no! You can't veto my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell everyone what do you think? Yeah. Before I knew Natalie. I used to sing Butterfly in like a, oh, yes. in a harmony group. Oh, that's weird. Called yeah, that's... Soul Group. But I reckon the guy that run it was just like, he was a super fan anyway. He was also super weird. I hope he's not tuned in. Um, what's his name? <laughs> well, <laughs> and, and I reckon that's why he called it so I reckon he was just trying to do like his own soul family, but we sang Butterfly and I remember like learning the harmonies for it. And I didn't even know that at the time. That was weird, wasn't it? That is weird. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't, I, you know, it's not that I love singing a song. I like what the band do. I love it, it the way that Phil plays it. Is That's what I love. Every Phil time, Phil Peskett, shout out, sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> like sponsorship. This show. Um, Phil's just a beast, isn't he? The way yeah. that he changes it up every time. He's very, very clever. He's a very clever boy. And I've played him for so many years. You're not bored yet? No. Really? No, it's like, it's like, it's no, it's always fresh and new and funky and fresh and cool, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some wine. Um, no. When I used to do duo gigs with, with um, Phil Peskett, I would, I would never, ever, like, count in tunes, you know. So if I was saying, say we were doing, like, Lady Be Good, song of the day. Um, such a boring song. Such a boring song, but such fun to be had with it, especially if you're playing with Phil Peskett, because you wouldn't count it off. I'd always just be, do something fun, do something fun, and he would, like, take that. 10 seconds and then he'd do like some crazy like minor intro or it would be in three four it would be like this weird groove and you'd have like with all the bass yeah. lines and it was like in so i used to call it instant arrangements just add fill yeah so you'd just be like yeah. give him a tune and, and then like, add boom, fill. go and it was it was such a trip um <clears> such <throat> fun such fun everywhere i look <laughs> <laughs> now i'm gonna put the potatoes we're still cooking here i don't want to like Kill them yet? I'm gonna make some more schnitzel bashing, shall I? Well, yeah, do another. Actually, that's not a bad idea. You do the schnitzel bashing. I'm also very hot and sweaty, but I blame, aren't I? Oh dear. <laughs> I blame the heat in this kitchen and not the extractor fan being on. <laughs> Maybe. Can you see Ellie? Can you all see yourself? Can you all see Ellie? Not that's really. Ellie. Can you see her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie is my favourite. Ellie is my favourite. She does all the, for those of the Soul Family people, she's always there and helps us 
do all the things that we need to do. And what she does is write these beautiful little love notes and right at your monitor and you're just going on. You might have had a bad day. And then, and oh, that is amazing. And then you'll get a little love letter from, from Ellie going, I love you very much. You're amazing. You're going to smash oh. it tonight. And like the first time I think you did it, Buddha and I were like, Ah, that yeah. is amazing. Wow. So we'll have to make you cry before you have to sing. I know, it's already. <laughs> <laughs> <You're the best. laughs> now, in my mouth. what's in your mouth? Plastic, don't mind me. Plastic. So, um, but both Emma and I have released music over lockdown, as have lots of other people, it turns out, because what else was there to do? So, when there were people, um, yeah, when there were people like, with already music ready to go, then they kind of released it. And loads of people have been really not productive over lockdown. Have you been productive? You have been really productive, haven't you? Um, You've done all the scatty bongo things. Like, <laughs> I'm getting along to I've been hard transcription. That's all I've really done that's been yes. Well, actually, Bob and I have released two tracks in lockdown, yes. which doesn't sound that productive, but we spent five years preparing for Patty Cordroy, on and off, like whenever. So you never finished, finished the story. story. Because he started making potatoes. <laughs> The story of Patty Cordroy. Why is it called Patty Cordroy? So, they must all be screwing, wondering <laughs> what it was. What could be the reason? The reason why is because, um, so we, we've been making this music for ages and originally we were like, well, we didn't even know what it was for. We're just doing sessions, Rob and I, because like, you know, we both got weird brains and it sort of was quite a cute match. Um, yeah, well, you know better than anyone. <laughs> she has to spend the most time with us. And um, we were making all these tunes and they were, going in a really weird place and then eventually we're like oh, we've got a bit of an EP here together now might as well um make it a thing make it a band and we couldn't think of a name like you know it gets to that point guys when you're uh, any musicians that are out there watching where you're literally like what am I going to call my band salt wine <laughs> that's not a bad <laughs> name actually <laughs> or you'd be like chicken bash or you'd be like <laughs> coffee grinding chrome cough or you'd be like Boo touch. I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> and so we were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then eventually, uh, Natalie had a birthday party, which took our minds off it. And she wore this um, jumpsuit, right? Yes. And it was really expensive. And that's got like this one gave her the online shopping. She's a fan. She's a fan of online oh, as shopping. As are you? Yeah, I know. But I got a husband to tell me. Oh, ah! uh, well, yes. <laughs> anyway. Um, so this thing came in and Nat was like, I think I'll, I think I'll call my And then she got this new lovely jumpsuit. And then I got a text from Rob being like, Nat's bought something online. I've just seen the, rec the receipt hanging about on the, on the table. I was like, oh dear. I was like, oh, um. And he was like, good news is though, the name's really good. I think we should use it. So her jumpsuit was called Patty Cordroy. That was the style of jumpsuit. Oh, yeah. So thank God that you've got a shopping problem. Because it looks yeah, like it, it, it was a brilliant I'm band title. It was the company because also sponsorship. It was sponsorship. Because <gasps> I need one for Patty Cordroy because she won't give me hers because she loves it so much. Well, because I don't fit into it, but when you do fit into it, it makes me really upset because it's a horrible thing when your friend fits into your clothes. And you I wouldn't don't. fit into it after lockdown. Lockdown. Does it make you feel better? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad we can continue. What was no, it what? called? Foxy? No. Fo no. Jump? No. Fo no. Jumpy. Jump. No. Jump. Jump. Phone. All we've got to type in is Patty Cordra, I bet though. Let's just, we'll come back to you on BRB. So, you, I'm going to continue with, mm, okay, so the, the thing, the spinach is in the oven. <laughs> Who was that guy? Oh, wasn't there a magician yeah, yeah. who used to be, who used to do loads of magic and then get more and more pissed? as he was doing the magic. That's how I feel about this. It's a bit mainly because I only had crisp for lunch, but this has gone right to my head. Should I tell you what I had for lunch? Well, yeah. right, guys, this is really important that I share this with you because also sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went down to Brixton to see our lovely friend Quabs. And very good thing. Yeah. Very good. Instantly go on Spotify. Yeah. Everyone that doesn't know who that is. And I haven't seen him for ages and we were catching up and then- Anyone still watching? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Who's watching? But we do this anyway, so we might as well have you guys here. Yeah. Anyway, just dinner, we're just making dinner. I had this um, Vietnamese beef rice salad at Pop Brixton. If anyone lives south, or actually if anyone lives anywhere that they can get to Brixton, go instantly. So it's all COVID-y, you just put your thing on and sit down and do the QR bullshit. And um, they bring it up. And I had it before and I'd never stopped thinking about it. So as soon as I got off the station, it was like that muscle memory thing. I was like, Quabs, we're going, we're going, we're going to Pops, we're in there. And they brought over and it's like 
rarely to see with the dressing the dressing of life. In fact, maybe we should do it and that's what I'm cooking. Yeah. Like a Vietnamese beef seared strip like a gingery thing. garlic and this tangalang oh. ding dong mm -hmm. sauce with the and then the crunch of the salad and you put the thing with the rice and then the beef on top and then you crunch it. It's a bit drippy and you're like, huh? yes. <laughs> That's what I want! That's what I want! Do you want to come and look at the spinach while we're at it? How long will it go in for now? I'm not really... I used to do about an hour, but it can be less. It's kind of like you want it a bit bubbly and delicious, but I just that can just slowly get on with it and do its thing, you know. Can we swap sideways now? Is that going to be weird? Mm. No, it's the same thing so on the screen. It'll either be a slim one. Guys, can you let us know, because this is good for future referendums, which yeah. is better that way, for landscape or portrait? Just let us know, yeah. because then we'll stick to something. Mm. It's hard to know, because with Papinis, I've seen this group called Papinis, have been doing live streams throughout the whole lockdown, mm. and um, I never know which way to do it, so one never knows which way to do one it. One never knows. One never knows. <laughs> That's a quandary. <laughs> Here I might never look at this. Oh. Can okay. well, you can. One more. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, should we do one? I think we should do six. Why? What for a spare? For a spare, because it's going to be delicious. Is there gonna, bear in mind this is four. Is it enough for your lunch or whatever you want to do with that? Oh, no, I'm not around to it. So let's just put one more. Let's make one extra. Always, I always believe in more, more is, is more. more. We have some very strong feelings coming through about which way around. Tell oh, yeah. <laughs> They're all very, oh, my pink rock. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very strongly landscape. Very strongly landscape. Yeah, Amy Sue hates portraits. <gasps> Roger. Hatred. Hate, hatred. Actual hatred. Oh, Amy, I'm so sorry. I'm going to hurt your feelings. <laughs> I was doing um, some lovely lessons with Amy during lockdown. Ooh. Hi, Amy. You were lovely. And you picked a really good song. And it was, um, uh, it was Brown and Lover. Well, I don't know why I sang it that key. Brown and Lover on the other side of town. I don't want to keep her waiting. Woo! And it's Alan Stone. I love ah, He is so good and he's so friendly because I tried to get him to do Soul Family. And he said no, but he was <laughs> polite about it. He was really polite. He turned me down really kindly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great um, critique of someone like, if you still love them when they reject you, you're like, they're just so no, nice. But, no, no, he was totally over it, but obviously he wasn't in town, yada, 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 but he's totally up to it. Is he British? Or no, he's totally American. He's so good. He's so good. I love his voice. And um, Jamie Adele produced his album. Is this annoying? You probably can't tell. Oh. I don't know, I'm just going to carry on. <laughs> Jamie Adele, who we love, who's English, who lives in, I can't remember if it's in Nashville or Brooklyn. <laughs> That's quite fun. I'm enjoying Don't this. Don't be rude. So we are. Anyway, um, and yeah, and it, and his his album's great. His album's really good. Definitely check it out. But actually, because you know that this show is meant to be on my Patreon. No Patreon. Oh, yeah. You help me. Patreon. Yeah. This is the coolest song. My name is Patreon. This is the coolest song. is this thing that you're meant to subscribe to. Amy does, is why she's allowed to. So you hear a really high pitched thing. It's just that nice. thing. Oh, it's too mad. Anyway, um, and people subscribe, and this actually is meant to be only for patrons, but, <laughs> but I decided to make it free for all because I don't have that many patrons. And I thought, well, I suck. I suck ass. Huh? I suck. It's so rude! <laughs> we're not even drunk, we're just really excited. <laughs> I'm just watching your mouth and see if you can do it. Hello. Hello. How, How are, are you? you? This is a game that Brendan likes game. to play. Is Brendan still watching, by the way? He's probably like, oh my god, get <laughs> out. He's probably like, this is so boring. I'm literally always having to deal with this shit. Let someone else do it. This is a game that Brendan likes to play where he mimes so and mimics your mouth. Okay. And I'm going to do it again. Oz, I see. Oz, I see. 
aki meg a szemmelké, aki meg a szemmelké. I'll give myself a free out. <laughs> 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 Alright, anyway, enough of that. Um, shall we get cracking? You know what, when we start doing this bit, this is when we actually kind of then start eating as well. So I think we should do another little song. Absolutely. I would like you to play one of your panty songs with Robin. Cool. Run! Rob, can we play music for free? Do you want to see my house, guys? Is this weird? <laughs> Did you do a nod? <laughs> Oh, he's coming. Should... There he is. All right, well. Ooh, I'll, I'll, do... I'll show you next time. Oh, Brendan's saying turns camera so it can be full screen 45 minutes ago. Oh, no. Thanks. One learned, one learned. And, um, okay, so I won't show you the house now because it's, it's not actually a mess, it's quite nice. But um, but they're going to do a little thing. Have you put the record on in there? No, it's on Sonos. Is it? I just pour them. Yeah. Oh, oh so guys, Plectrum, Plectrum panic. Help find the Plectrum. We could use this uh, filter. We could use this uh, wine yeah. opener. Maybe some like sprig of rosemary. Um, Ed's, Ed's coming, right? Mm-hmm. Julian, Julian. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, Yeah. 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 Your ideas when you started making Pretty Girl because it started off as just a beat for you, didn't it? And you didn't really know what was going to happen to it. Yeah, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting paid in schnitzel. I'm getting paid in schnitzel. We're on the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, I've realised trying to play this on guitar, it's actually there's not much going on, is it? No, that's kind of and the point it, of it, wasn't it? So yeah, it could be like an open. When have I ever written a song that was just D minor? Never, ever. literally never ever. Oops. Rob's. You're about to find out. It's very simple. Well, that, the bridge is quite cute. Um, Rob's normally writing tunes that have like at least 12 chords per crotchet. <laughs> the Americans out there, that's a quarter note. <laughs> that's a lot of chords. Um, I wonder if they're going to keep doing that plastic. No, I'm going to stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> We can't afford percussion, so we've got plastic crunching that. Oh, we're going to percussion. I'll beatbox. I won't. Can you do BVs on that bridge section? No. Yeah. Did you turn that down or did I break the thing? I uh, turned it down. Um, so, yeah, this was our latest single, Patty Cordroy. Yeah, so yeah, you, you scrap and I'll just keep patting. Uh, we've had two tunes out. The first one's called Never Before, which was in 9 4 and had 32 key changes. Never before in 9 4. <laughs> Never before in 9 4. Never the 9 4. <laughs> And um, do you want to sit on that? I get it. Maybe you sit on the, the bin, bin and sit. That's better. Is Trust it? me. Yeah, you love the bin. The bin. Bin's your favourite new guitar store. Also, um, this is the first time we've ever played this without bass. So normally it's like a it's like a bass feature for rock. This is another instrument that I can't play. Bring it on. Um, let me just check, just check that I know the words at the bit when there. Uh, <laughs> really hard to remember words sometimes. Sorry. Oh, such a 
got a space in your brain. Behold this here truth. You've lost the keys to your you. I know it's hard to believe. Don't make me laugh. You're such a tragedy. Pretty African Fires your lip and up your hands as he's there. Oh, let him know that you're very under there. But how you gonna play it when it walks away? You lost for words. There's oh, such a lot of space. Every day, when you wait, what do you see? Someone who looks a little bit lost. How can it be? As you keep from your cave, but your face is something Oh. came from an Amy Winehouse record called F Me Pumps. Oh. So from her first album, Frank, if anyone likes the music, kind of music that we make, they've probably heard Frank. Um, and if you haven't, it's so cool. It's like the really raw kind of Amy that we all miss and love. And it's all about like wag culture. And like, I guess, so that was sort of early 2000s. It was all about super duper fake people and the sadness of them on the inside. Sadness of them on the inside. Sadness of them on the inside, not the outside, but also on the outside. But they do. Where's food? Sorry, we are chatting so much shit. I'm really sorry, guys. This is the first one. I realise that it's now turned all of this into movie length. Nobody's going to watch this. Um, but food is almost is very close to being ready. I'm going to take the potatoes out. So, Emma, this is the point when we need to do a bit of, like, potatoes are basically, they're totally done. You want me to say the potato? Uh, well, no, there's just more people we don't know here. Oh. Who? There's not me, no, there's, no, we're not doing Greek. They're not Greek potatoes. Now, now I've, I've never had Greek potatoes, and I'm really disappointed. I know, I'm sorry, but they take too long, and now I realise I could have totally have done them, but never mind. So, here we go. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready? Hey! You know what, actually? Um, don't worry about that for a minute, because I'm just going to... What? <laughs> <laughs> what I would like is some rosemary. Roger. Love it. I like a bit of rosemary. I think I put it on the side of this, so we can do a bit of chopsies of the rosemary. Yeah. This is Rob's new plectrum. I just played that song with you. <laughs> 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 right. I would like a bit of rosemary meal and just that really just to put, add to how the... much does one need okay you don't want what you don't want rosemary yeah. is the like the skanky bits so you try and take the what, green the brown bit yeah so you don't it. want brown not really brown is not my favorite you okay. want green so which is a bit of a you just kerfuffle all a right bit of a kerfuffle. i'll do the cute bits over here you do the cute bits and meanwhile i will kind of continue over here getting lots of love for pretty girl by oh, the way oh thanks guys. everyone oh yeah Go and stream it on all platforms, and I think by all I mean Bandcamp, because that's the one you can give us money for. <laughs> uh, and then you time. remember this money, <laughs> which none of us have made money. any of recently. How's that been for you? Has it been for me? Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm just checking which version of myself I was presenting there. <laughs> 
Uh, it's been humbling. It has, hasn't it? Yeah. Do you find that you've cooked way more at home? No. My yes. boyfriend's a really good cook, so I basically just let him food me. Aww, cute. Yeah, he lives next door. He does live literally next literally, door. Literally, like, you can't see, but his window's there. <laughs> That's his window. This. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to talk you through this. Okay, so what I need is, like, quickness. Ah. <laughs> I'll make a tiny, tiny little, little, little chunky chicken and then you put it in the um, breadcrumbs. What I'm going to do, Spirit of Vula is here every time I go, <laughs> have you noticed? <laughs> now I turn these on, I'm going to make a couple. Time. Robin, actually, if you could do over there, if you could like prepare some the potatoes and put them in a nice um, thing with some butter and some parsley, which Brendan hates, but he's not here tonight, but he will be when he is, I'm not going to use parsley. Brendan, Brendan, what do you all hate? What are oh, I tiny, it tiny? Sorry, tiny, 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 tiny. I would like to know what people out there like have an absolute like massive hatred of. Food wise, food wise, you know, like some things are fun for me. It's goat's cheese. Oh, you hate goat's cheese. Cannot. Yeah, that it's really is a problem in our relationship. It's, it is. It's sad, and I really wish I didn't. But I like everything else. So also, I think I'm quite good. Brendan doesn't like. Raw tomatoes. I know a lot of people don't like raw tomatoes. Yeah, yeah. we think I love them. Natalie and I all Natalie. actually, Natalie, Natalie and I once went to. This is going to make it sound really bougie. It wasn't the only reason, but I'm going to pretend yeah, it was. We went all the way to Ibiza for a tomato and onion salad. Huh? <laughs> it's a true story. Ish. Uh, we discovered this tomato and onion salad in Ibiza. Do you remember that, Nat? Yeah, the one at the steakhouse. Oh my god, the steak. Okay, so I'm putting a bit of um. This kind of oil, rice bran oil, any kind of oil will do. Any radical oil will do. No. I'm just going to, I'm going to turn it really far down. Any radical oil will do. Robin has these really fun little phrases, and once he said, any rock a doodle will do. So we'll let you work that one out. Work that out for yourself. Now, what we do now, okay? Watch and learn. You take the meat, you put it in here. What's then, that flour? That is flour. Thank you. <laughs> then you put it in the delicious mixture. Oh. Emma, hurry with that. I need that into the in here. Oh, I got enough. The eggy, eggy mixture. Eggy mixture, eggy it's mixture. Enough. People keep writing, can you dig it? Is that a private joke that you have? Yeah, can you dig it? Yeah. Can you so dig a few it? people have written, can you dig it? That's made me drop my chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What about, can you dig it? Yes, I can. I'm just going to put this in because you're taking too long. Emerson. No, Rob's doing it. It's far oh, too late. Yeah, it's going into the egg. No, no, no. No, it's in there. Yeah. Oh, in there. Yeah. 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 And now shake it all about. Do the hokey pokey and you put no, the chicken no, no. back in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready? Okay. Oh, God, there's loads. There's a bit of it. Okay, here we go. Okay. No. Test testing if it's hot enough. You don't want it too hot, you don't want to burn it. I'm waiting here because this is awkward. See, it's not, wasn't, oh, okay, it's all right, it's not bad. So you see it's sizzling, but you don't want it like crazy, crazy, crazy hot. Then you take the next package. I know you think this is probably wasteful, but you just don't want chicken juice all over your life. This is where I put the extractor fan on normally, but I haven't for your benefit. And I put it back in the flour, back in the flour it goes, and then you put it in the lovely mixture of garlicky goodness. The reason why I used the tongs earlier was because I didn't want to get my fingers really gross and sludgy oh, and pudgy. So what's happened now? But now I've just forgotten. Um, I'm doing it, <laughs> and I don't care. Huh? Oh, yeah, seasoning them, make them delicious. No, uh, herbs. Yeah, parsley. Oh, yeah, when you make them like ten times more delicious than they are, they're not that delicious by now. Yeah, I think that was pretty good. It's quite boring. It's quite boring potatoes at the minute. But the thing is that there are other things going to be like. This is a very amateur show. I don't know if you can tell. Manual extractor fan. This is very much a home, <laughs> homegrown situation. By the way, meanwhile, um, for those of you that have these, big up to your bad cells, the Soul Family tea towel. This Worth. was 
lots and money. lots and lots of money very very expensive very good and very expensive um of which i have none left so they're a uh, collector's item now so i think i'm thinking i'm going to put it oh, i'm going to put it out there how many people out there would want a tea towel because i think you never have enough tea towels do you know what i mean and they're not really that expensive they're not that expensive i'm joking obviously they're cheap as chips but if i was to towels. make yeah, if I was to make some more tea towels, would you all buy them? I think you do a collect. Uh, Amy Sue hate beetroot. Okay. Georgina Jackson hates tarragon. Oh, oh, you hate tarragon. I'm a bit excited about you being there then, and now now I'm less so. Well, she's just written yeah. tarragon. <laughs> She's just written tarragon. She might that's not hate it. But... It's, it's one of those weird anesthesia. If you know, yeah. like, I bet she hates sambuca then. Sure, she hates sambuca. That's not, nothing to do with that. Because... They live in the same world. Tarragon and sambuca are the same world. They are. They, they live are. together. They're mm -hmm. best friends. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, all right. Yeah, anesthesia. Yeah. All right, here goes in. Here goes the other one. Whee! Oh, that's not. Anyway, look at this one. This one. <laughs> oh, it's cute, baby. Covered in goodness, covered in lovely, delicious goodness. Like, I'm so glad we're not using um, buttermilk. Yeah, well, how about that? <laughs> I did a terrible thing. Sheila Blige says no to the tea towel. <laughs> she doesn't want one. Sheila, you like most things. Not really? the tea towel. She doesn't like the tea towel, well, babe. Sheila, you have so many CDs. I don't. I don't... Use your CDs as a tea towel, then we'll buy <laughs> some more CDs. Oh, what I always say to get people at gigs, if you don't have a CD player, just use the CD as a toaster. It makes a lovely toaster. Oh, lovely. Um, Especially the Soul Family Motown ones, they're all matte and delicious. Yeah. Oh, that needs to be hotter. This one's not How yeah. far off are we from eating, do you reckon? Um, not far at all. Well, Rob's... We could, you could lay the table a bit. Yeah. I'm not going to do my other song now. I was going to sing you a song as well. No, 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 you must. You must stay. No, because I want to eat now. No, well, the food will just sit there because no one... Sorry, can we just have a, a show of hands? How gutted will you be if you do? You're going to do something with one? I'm going to do Peter Pan. Can I do Peter Pan? If you don't do it, I'm going to put all of this in the bin that <gasps> Rob was sat on. Oh, Sheila is clarifying her comment. Yeah. No, I have got one. Oh! That's what yeah. I meant to say. Oh, I, I thought you did, Sheila, because you do buy most things that bless you. Now, four for now because I can't get another one in the thing. So, this song I'm just going to talk about it real quick. This song is about my obsession with wanting to be able to fly, and I went to see a show of Peter Pan last year, and it was one of the most like, mind blowing experiences. And at the end of the show, like a big West End thing, at the end of the show, the, the spotlight went out in the crowd to pick a kid from the crowd. To, um, to get up on stage and then they do magic dust on the kids and this kid like took off and took off into the sky. It was so mind blowing. I couldn't, re I couldn't believe it. Um, and it was it really hurt my feelings that I didn't get picked. But my mum, when I was a kid, always used to ask me, what, so what did you dream last night? And I always said, I just had to die. So I've written lots of songs about flying, really. Like I'm doing this at the same time, I'm getting a bit early down. Let me just check this. Um, sorry, I need the actual thing, so apologies. Yeah, you just play for a minute, Robin. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks good, that looks good. I'm happy with this. So far, so good. Okay, then I'm going to add this other funny one. And then you 
the ticking over. That one looks so good to me. That one doesn't look so bad. Ow! <laughs> I uh, play guitar in my band, so it's not fair. Um, anything you can play. I can play anything. I can play anything. Uh, the one, my favourite that I used to get ready to when I was at school was. Um... <laughs> <laughs> He's only five years younger than me. I don't know why he's pretending. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Um, that. Obviously, that's the hardest one. That's my favourite. I did say that to Rob that you might want to sing that with me, but then it's really hard. I'm 
everything. Darlena says, you would think these British girls were raised in the Baptist church. <laughs> love it. I love that comment. <laughs> um, that's delicious. <laughs> Baptist church, you say? Oh, well, hallelujah about it. Um, let me play the potatoes. Mmm, it looks delish, It does look delish, Wiener. My favourite deli, the deli Shwina. <laughs> oh, it's like a Parmesan kind of... Uh -oh. Spinach yeah. life. I need to hold it because it got very attached to the. Oh, mm. the cream spinach looks lush actually. The cream spinach yes, is going to be delicious. Oh yeah. You know me. You know always, me so well. always to do is to put some lemon, lemon on the schnitzel. Always lemonize the schnitzel. I think we're done. So, ladies and gentlemen, actually, should we see the reaction? Because I'm a bit. Should we see Emma's reaction? You can be the taste. Is it going to be hot though? It's too hot. It's going to be fine. And the spinach might be a bit hot, so just take your clothes off. Just take your clothes off. Take your time. It's oh. getting hot. All your clothes off. I'm sure people would just enjoy that. I would start with a schnitz. Shall I? Yeah. Okay. Is it being lemonized? Yeah. Fully. Mm -hmm. really. Fully and wholeheartedly. Yeah. Babe, is it? Mm. Instantly. Come here. Is it? I want everyone to see that you enjoy your own cooking. Oh yeah, it was proper. It was good! Thank God it's not the buttermilk one. I had an accident, we'll tell you about it. Now I'm going to try her. Okay. Looks really hot though. It does look hot, please be careful. I will sue you if it's burning. I'll sue you. Oh, look at Rob, look. <laughs> hot, hot, mm. nutmeg. Whoever put the nutmeg in there? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. I think the potatoes are self-explanatory. <laughs> right. Well, that is it from us. My special guest, Emma Smith. My dear husband, Mr. Robin Malarkey. Malarkey. Thank you so much, Ellie, on filming. Show Jesus. yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. If you don't show yourself, you don't. Know <laughs> <laughs> Reveal yourself. Stand here in the mirror. 
and then we can all okay. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Everyone. And those of you that aren't on Nat's Patreon, sign up because these won't be available for everyone it's soon. True. And there will be way, way, way more live music next time when you sign up to Patreon. And probably and less real. long because this was ridiculous long, but time flies. We're just really fun. enjoying ourselves. Thank you so much. We love you very much. <laughs> Adios, amigos. Until Bye. next time. Gracias. Ciao.